What's up, YouTube? I'm unboxing my bioactive kit for my 40 breeder from Josh Halter, the bio dude. I told you guys I was going to do this, and let's unbox it. Let me do this without showing you guys. Right here. This is my bearded dragons. Power of Lulu. Alright, so here we have the bio dude. This is the bio shot. You see? We got our sphagnum moss. We got our leaf litter biodegradables. We got another pack of biodegradables. And the famous Terra Sahara. It's heavy. I'm sorry, I'm on the ground too. Turtle. Famous Terra Sahara. And since I'm by myself, I will. Leave the camera go and show you guys how this looks after when I add this. And I'm I let it get a little dirty because I knew the biac this set of kit was coming through. So don't mind me. And I'll show you another video when it's about done. Now I'm getting everything out of the tank. So I can add this bioactive setup. I've been wanting to try for the longest now. So I'll keep I'm by myself, so I wish I could do the whole step, but we'll manage. I clap it off, and I'm gonna give this a little cleaning with your wipeout. And I'm gonna keep having you guys posted, you know? I'm about to cut the terrace of her up, and I'm gonna keep the camera tilted so you could watch. If it uns, it's that mean it fell or whatever. Terrace of is going in now. It's funny guy would read about always the custom tank. <sighs> That's a lot of soil. Alright, so I'm gonna even it all out now. This soil feels fine, damn. This soil feels good, what the hell? This is not a regular soil, because I have soil, com earthworm compost and stuff. This feels different. This feels different. It feels moist too. What? This is different. I'm watching the bad dude's video, binge watching OD. Uh, now I'm gonna lightly water, water it. I mean, heavy water, I guess. Until you see puddles. Until you see puddles. I mean, pools on the top. Yeah, I think that's about that's about good. And we're gonna mix it. Put you guys here. Put you guys here. Mix it all through. Mix it all through the substrate. Like Josh Halter said, this is not supposed to be sand. It's just like the rough terrains they live in. So, yo, this this soil, no joke. I'm not even joking just because I bought it, but this soil will feel good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So we mix it through. All right. Feel good as hell. You going, it's like, it's better than Play-Doh. Shit. Dude, let's put this down there before I put the soil. Shit. I put that in. I let them dig that up however they want. And now it's time for the bio shot. Bow. This is difficult if I tell you. 
All right. You want to evenly distribute it around the whole vivarium. What the body shot does is a supplement that's beneficial, that gives beneficial microorganism, microorganisms and uh, nutrients for a bioactive vivaria. Bow. All right, so just mix it in. It has a little smell to it. Has to be. Dude's website didn't have any any more cleanup crew. I have earthworms I've been breeding. This is the compost. That's how I told you I know the difference between the soil. And I'll put the earthworms on my cleanup crew right now until my I ordered purple dwarf off of eBay and until they come my earthworms will be the cleanup crew. And all right. put some sphagnum moss in and this is a lot of sphagnum moss so I won't be putting in all of it. I'm gonna put it in when I need it again. And when I need it again, so I'll give it a light misting right now. And this will be mixed. This will be mixed in your terracero also. It's a very it's very dry when you get it. All right, this will be the the food for the bio shot, I guess. I just got into this world, so don't mind me. Yeah, it's food for the bio shot and the isopods when they arrive in the mail. So we take that. Let me let you guys see this. We take that. We mix it. We mix it in the Terra Sahara. Very good soil here. I should have did how the dude did it. He just put he just put in the bag, water in the bag, upside down, easy. So I'm going to evenly mix it throughout the terrace Sahara. All right, now it's time for the leaf litter, leaf litter bow. Put this over.
Yeah. Can't wait till I get my isopods because it's going to be more bioactive. Oh, look at acorn. Thanks, bio dude. Josh. It smells natural as natural can be, I swear. What you got? It smells good actually though. It's not a bad natural smell like a farm. It's like a like nice pine like like the pine cones. It smells just like that. Now I'll be putting your things back in there. I'll put I'll show you guys when this is done. All right. What's up, YouTube? It's been two days since I set up my bioactive vibranium, and all I'm waiting now is for my isopods to come in. Dwarf purples. I'll buy the rest of the isopods as time goes and spring tells, you know. And yeah, I'm, I've been digging this uh, enclosure. I'm liking this. Oh my god, it looks so natural. And if you watch the whole well, the video, I'm gonna put it all together. I was breathing heavy in the other videos because my bronchitis was starting to kick up. So don't mind me breathing heavy like that, man. Please. <laughs> and this is Lou, this is Cairo, and this is the bioactive vibranium. Peace.